Bonnie, happy Thursday. I just got an alert on my phone, lightning strike within 10 miles. I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background, but it is really bad here. It's starting to get dark. Big storm is going to start rolling in. I was actually going to go to Bath and Body Works this morning, but I didn't want to get caught in the rain. So I decided to call just to find out. I'm just curious if they have the Christmas body care because I know a lot of stores were doing kind of like a pop-up of the Vanilla Bean Noel winter candy apple I've seen on Instagram. Other people are getting their hands on it. So I kind of wanted to get the official um, word. And so far, my store does not have body care out. I'm going to go in Friday, Saturday to see if maybe I can get my hands on a couple of things, but I'm thinking next week is really going to be the week that we start seeing um, the Christmas body care, which is fine. I mean, we're still we're still in October. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I do want to switch up my background, though, to Christmas. I get so excited for Christmas, and I think I'm ready. I'm ready to see red and green and silver. <laughs> so uh, don't be surprised. Um, if one morning you wake up and I've got Christmas. <laughs> so what's going on at Bath & Body Works today? I'm actually going to review Christmas cider. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so nice. Holy moly. This is the perfect candle for today. Got to talk. I got to talk about Christmas cider. Um, buy two, get two free on the aromatherapy, which is okay. Nothing new though, but if you want to stock up on some aromatherapy for Christmas, uh, that is not a bad deal. I think the biggest news sale-wise is the 50% off sale online. Today's the last day. So if you want to get um, you know, any of that product for 50% off, I did notice that they have the hand sanitizer gels for fall on sale for like $2.75. These are a good deal. I'm really micro-focused on Christmas now. I was able to get Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple, and yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of all in on Christmas right now. <laughs> but if you want any of the fall stuff, uh, pick that up today. I'm kind of curious to see when the next batch of candles rolls in and it would not surprise me i'm making a prediction that tomorrow morning friday we could see body care online for christmas so the next collection that i think is probably going to roll out is obviously vanilla bean noel winter candy apple and possibly that love hope peace joy collection which i'm super excited about that's the cotton candy champagne um the sugar snicker doodle i'm gonna get my hands on everything we're gonna review we're gonna compare we're gonna be having a whole big christmas party i keep getting these alerts on my phone the lightning's getting closer <laughs> it's getting a lot darker outside too i hope the power does not go out so i gotta get through this video in case the power goes out so Christmas Cider. So last year, Christmas Cider came out in one of these uh, really pretty luminary jars. By the way, I really hope we get Pink Fairy Gumdrop back this year. This is a must-have for Christmas. Um, Christmas Cider came out in one of these plaid jars. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you. I want an entire second set of these just to keep unburned. These are so beautiful. This one has the squirrel on it. You know how much I love my squirrels, you guys. I still have. I still have my squirrel. My squirrel is going to actually stay out for Christmas, I decided, because you know what? Squirrels are Christmas. I just fed my squirrels, by the way. I just bought a huge bag of um, peanuts. I just fed my squirrels. I love my squirrels. So if you wanted to get the squirrel, I hope you got this. But to me, this is a really pretty um, Christmas decoration. And look how nice this looks with a Christmas candle. So don't put your squirrel away. Um, I was actually thinking of maybe dressing him up for Christmas, possibly. I don't know. Could I put a red scarf on him or something? I don't know. <laughs> but my squirrel is staying up here. <laughs> so Christmas cider has the beautiful little squirrel. And like I said, these jars are absolutely delightful. You can kind of turn them around and use them um, on the back, there's plaid, there's Christmas trees, there's stars. They're, they're gorgeous. I'm going to try and get through reviewing all of these. So Christmas cider, when it came out last year, I've told this story before, I didn't like it cold. I thought, oh, Christmas, I mean, uh, kitchen spices, I wasn't like something that I, I thought smelled wonderful cold. And I kind of waited a while to light this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of my favorite candles of 2020. It is mulled cinnamon, crushed clove, 
creamy nutmeg and simmering cider. So it is, it's a mix of all of these kitchen spices. And oh my gosh, it smells delightful. It's super creamy and it almost smells like a cinnamon creamy candy would taste. I love the way this looks in the jar too. It's so pretty. Um, this is the perfect candle for today. Honestly, it's it's like, it's, you can tell outside the weather is just wicked. <laughs> and this candle is making the house like really cozy. It's a really good throw on this one. Um, but it's not like, there's two types of cinnamon with Bath and Body Works. There's like cinnamon stick, which is that harsher cinnamon. This is a cinnamon that smells more like a creamy candy. It's, it's beautiful. Just trust me on this one. If you like any of the the spices, the cinnamon, the clove, the nutmeg. And again, it's not the harsh clove that you sometimes get um, around fall and Christmas that, that's overpowering. This is a clove that blends. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, this is like a Santa's workshop candle that the elves are just working, uh, working along and <laughs> building toys and they're all happy and cozy because they're smelling so Christmas cider. It is. I, I cannot say enough about this candle. So if you're on the fence about this one, um, I would try this one out. Like I said, if you if you if you smell the cold in the store and you didn't love it, that doesn't mean that you're not gonna love it burning, because like I said, I was the same way. But the throw is awesome on this one. It's really strong. It's got a really robust, pleasant, beautiful aroma that is good for both fall and Christmas. I, I definitely think this is a dual candle. If you lit this up while well, guests were over, I think a lot of people would just think your house smelled like a magical Christmas cottage. <laughs> That's what I'm going for on this one. So I'm super excited about uh, Christmas cider. And actually, I believe it or not, I like the packaging even better. I really did like these candles with the luminary. Um, the Christmas cider had like an orange on it, but you know what? I actually think the packaging this year matches, uh, the delightfulness of this candle a little bit better this year. So, um, A plus for the packaging on this one. So we wait for body care. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Uh, we wait for body to change up her background. I don't know why I'm referring to myself in the third person. That was weird. <laughs> And um, I'm definitely holding on to my squirrel for Christmas. This is going to be my Christmas squirrel. <laughs> By the way, his name is Charlie. We've named him Charlie. Charlie the squirrel. <laughs> so anyway, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I got, I got so much more Christmas coming. I can't wait. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.